It was not believed that hallucinogenic mushrooms even existed in by the mid 50s. It was thought to be myth or perhaps some confusion with peyote. Uh -huh. And then Wasson, who was a, uh, An a Wall executive. Street banker, he was oh, the banker. vice president, okay. I think, at J.P. Morgan. Right. He married a, a Russian woman right. who loved mushrooms and they got <laughs> right. into this whole thing about yeah. mushrooms and world culture and then he heard from a a friend Robert Graves the great uh, British scholar and writer that there might be an extant uh, mushroom cult among the indigenous people in the central highlands of Mexico in Oaxaca so right Wasson yeah. organized an expedition which is very you know using what you know jeeps and then mules to get in this totally remote area it was it was introduced to a a, a mexican uh healer who used mushrooms maria sabina, maria sabina and she invited him to attend a a velada or a healing ceremony and then uh which was written up uh, wasson wrote up his experiences in that uh that preeminent uh medical uh, <laughs> journal Life magazine and was published uh, May 13th, 1957, but had, it was yeah. a great story, had great pictures. Yeah. And, uh, and Timothy Leary Timothy read that. Timothy Leary yeah. read that and it led to his first psychedelic experience. But yeah. Wasson returned from Mexico with samples of the mushroom that Maria Sabina had given him. He sent them to the leading medicinal chemists around the world to discover what the active chemical was. None of the chemists could isolate the active alkaloids until Hoffman took a crack at it. So mm, another accomplishment really? of Albert Hoffman was that he was the first one to isolate psil psilocybin and then psilocin from, from, from mushrooms.